Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my last week on board. We're heading back over to the States. So hopefully we have a smooth ride over and it's a beautiful, cool day out here. But another week we should be back in USA. So hopefully we'll have a nice trip over. So far so good. And then I'll be getting off the ship back on vacation, head back to Brazil. Looking forward to that. So make a little vlog on the way over here. Been so busy the last couple months. No time for anything but work and sleep. And uh, it's been kind of a lot of work. So looking forward to a little downtime. So anyway guys, we'll do a little quick video vlog here on the ride home. And we'll hopefully have a smooth trip over. guys so it's a new morning here I just got my all my checklists here ready to go got like five sheets of checks that I do and tank soundings so I'm gonna go get started on that now make a rounds a new morning here and one day closer to the end just woke up got dressed I'm gonna go down grab a cup of coffee I got up a little early because I go to bed early I like to get up and enjoy the morning a little bit so I'm gonna go down and grab a cup of coffee come back to my room and enjoy a little bit of news and just relax for a little bit so I just realized that I left my coffee cup down in the engine room so I'm in the elevator I'm gonna go down below grab my cup real quick got one of those insulated coffee cup Yeti cups which is awesome. So I'm gonna go grab that and make some coffee, head back to my room and just chill. So I probably left it sitting somewhere over here. Ah, here it is. I do this every day. I sit in my cup places. Can't remember where I put it. So bad habit. So I'm gonna go up to where the galley is, to the mess hall, make my coffee and just go chill, watch the news a little bit. All right guys, so I got my coffee now. Life is better. Go back in here and just relax. I had my hands full, so I gotta shut my door. And yeah, I still have my Christmas lights up, so in February. <laughs> my decorations. So guys, I'm just gonna relax now and we'll see what this next day brings here. Alright guys, so I'm on the stern here. Just got done my rounds. I got a few minutes, so I'm gonna go and check in the steering gear room real quick. Uh, it's really cool out here as we approach the East Coast. A couple more days, we're supposed to be in port. Four more days, to be exact. So I'm gonna go in the steering gear here and do a quick check. All right, so that was real quick. I just went for a quick check. And you can see the seas here rolling around a little bit. A lot of white caps, swells. All in all, not a bad day though. Really cold out here, it's starting to get cold. So, beautiful day. Just enjoy a fresh air for a moment before going back inside. So anyway, before I walk inside real quick, just I'll show you, these are the mooring winches here. You can see the lines which at sea, everything is secure for any kind of weather. You see the lines are tied off. Here's some bits here where like a tug line could be attached to or anything. Off the stern here. And some different bits. Safe working load. 
now we're on the port side. See these chocks here where the lines can go out? It's a little smoother on this side. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go inside. I do a set of numbers at 10 o'clock every day, our 10 o'clock numbers, uh, which consists of generator numbers, uh, the counter of the engine, the shaft counter, and things like that, just a few things. So anyway, guys, basically what we do in the mornings on the ships, we just do morning routines. Everybody has a set of routine checks that they do. We call them our morning rounds. So we go around doing all that. And then after 10 o'clock, or even before that sometimes, we just get started with whatever tasks that we're gonna do for that day or jobs that are assigned for that day. So I'm gonna go inside and get these numbers, take a little tea break, and then after that, we'll get started. All right guys, so the next thing I'm gonna to do today is our monorail crane outside, the big crane that lifts the, the all the stores on the ship. We One of the spare motors for that, a big heavy motor. Uh, I've got a frame for it, a mounting frame and holes to mount it. So I've cleared a space and I'm gonna weld it to the deck and then mount this motor so that it has a permanent home until it's needed. So that'll be my afternoon job here today. Pretty good Saturday so far. Tomorrow's Sunday, a little relaxed day just do our Sunday routines. So for now I'm gonna go get this thing welded up and get it in place. All right guys, it's evening time. I've already taken a shower. I had to come down and check. I was washing all my bed sheets, my blanket. So now I can go relax a little bit. Everything's done that I wanted to do. Working days. <clears throat> the working day is over. So I'm gonna just go back to my room and relax for a little bit. So we have machines here. And we keep one machine here for clean gear only. No working clothes, which is nice and other machines and dryer here for working gear and another washing machine over here for working gear as well which is labeled as such that way we keep uh, stuff for our clean gear and our working gear separate alright guys it's Sunday morning on top of my cup off a little bit Just the way I start my day every day here a cup of coffee. All right, guys, so I'm back in my room now with my coffee. And yeah, I have my Christmas lights up again. Sorry about that. I love it. It's my decorations. So anyway, on Sundays, guys, what we do, we do, you guys have seen the videos before, you know, like we have what they call Safety Sunday. We do safety, everybody has their things that they do on Safety Sunday. Uh, like I, I go around, I pull a lot of alarms. We test all these alarms every week, all kind of different things that get tested every week just to make sure that they work good. Uh, fan dampers, you name it. So just uh, walk around and do a lot of check day. So generally the day is finished by dinner time. On Sundays, don't work Sunday evenings, so it's a little bit more relaxing day. So I'm gonna sit here, relax a little bit, watch some news, 7.30, 0.7.30. We have breakfast and then get the day started. All right guys, so I'm in the middle of doing my safety checks for safety Sunday. Uh, I'm on the way back to the steering gear room again. I check all the grease back there and everything else. And then I'll go down to the fin stabilizer rooms, which is a long vertical ladders all the way down both sides to check the alarms down there, bilge alarms down there and all that stuff. And then by then it'll be lunchtime. They'd be half over. All right, guys, I'm doing my checks here. I'm in the starboard fin stabilizer room now, all the way down in the bowels of the ship, below seawater level. And just over here, you can see, uh, this is the fins right here, unit. So underneath the water level, there's fins that help for rolling stability of the ship, keeps the ship a little more stable in uh, rough seas. So gotta come down here all the time and do checks down here as well. So I'm gonna head back up because another 20 minutes is gonna be lunch.
basically all it was doing was opening the valve, removing the air supply to the damper, holding it open. And then I listed for them to close, assuring that they can be closed if need be, and then reopen them back up. Every week we just test these things like this. So time to go on to the next one. It's a beautiful, cool, sunny day out here on a Sunday afternoon out here at sea. So this morning job for me, the washing machine in the, the galley here needed to be, there was a leak coming from the gasket here. So I had to electrically disconnect this, make a new gasket. This is for the heater and re put the element in. I got it wired up now. Next step I'll be test it, make sure nothing leaks and then put the, the cover back on here and then the face cover here on the machine and should be good. So now the new one is installed, everything is tight. Next step I'll check for leaks, make sure my gasket holds, put the cover back on and then the cover to the unit back on and should be finished. I'll step outside just for a minute, see how it is outside today. Beautiful day out here. So guys, yeah, it's like, you know, those uh, gaskets, they sit on that, that heater. Uh, the element there in the tank, it's super hot. So, you know, it gets brittle after time. It just needs to be replaced. So that's all that was this morning. So today I'm gonna do a normal day, work a little bit tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll just do an eight hour day. In the evening, I'll, you know, organize my room. Uh, pack everything up, make sure all my last minute things are done. Next day around noon, we should be in port and that's my final port. And then I'm back off again. Got to go take physical exams and, and clear all that. And then uh, head back to Brazil. We make a lot of videos there. I hope you guys join along and watch those. It's a beautiful place. All right guys, so I got everything back together, wired up. And I did a test cycle, filling cycle of the water. Ran the sanitizer dishwasher for a couple cycles. Everything was great. I didn't see any drips anymore. So we're gonna call that good. And I got everything buttoned back together, closed the breaker, and the unit's back in service now, so everybody's happy. I'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee. And about another hour to be lunchtime. It's a nice, beautiful, cool day again, so I might go outside and enjoy a little bit of that. So, another job done. So this is the first ship I've seen. I'm sure the guys at the bridge maybe saw another always uh, kind of indicative like you're getting closer to the coast to your destination so it won't be much longer now so yeah it looks like a tanker ship heading somewhere but uh, yeah another 48 hours will be back in the United States so time for me to go back on vacation guys so I'm gonna head back down to Antrim and see what else is going on so anyway, today is one day before my last day here. Actually, it's my last real day. I'm supposed to be in port tomorrow, I think 0700. So just doing a couple projects, closing out some stuff. A couple things I had that I was working on, just finalized it, closed it out. Don't want to leave anything for the next person, you know. Uh, made some more round sheets, things like that. Get the next guy set up good, good start. Didn't want to leave anything behind, so uh, the afternoon should be pretty chill, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish up this day here, pack up my room, my cabin, uh, and then like just try to get a little bit of rest tonight and then get out of here tomorrow. So it's almost coffee time here. I just want to step outside, get a little bit of fresh air, and there's a nor'easter coming up the east coast, I would say, uh, as we're heading down it. So we got a little rain this morning. It's a little choppy here. I'll let you take a quick look here. A little choppy seas. Not too bad though. Really cool outside. All right guys, it was my last night on the ship here. I've got everything spotless cleaned up exactly the way I would want it if I was boarding the vessel the next day. So I just got a little bit of laundry in. I gotta go down and get it now and then I can go to bed. 
uh, anticipate getting up early in the morning. We're supposed to be arriving at the port at sometime between 6 and 7 a.m., 0600, I think, or somewhere around there. So I gotta have everything ready, but I'm all packed up, ready to go. Everything is beautiful, smelling great in the cabin here. So I'm gonna go get my laundry, try to get a little bit of sleep, and when I wake up, it'll almost be time. I'll just wait for my relief to show up. I'll have to take him around and show him everything, uh, show him the rope, you know, and where everything is and what the routines are. And then at that point, I will get my discharge and head off the ship. guys so I got my laundry here just a little bit of laundry the last day just the clothes that I wore today I washed normally I wait and do it like once a week but I just want to go home with everything clean so nice size laundry room here and I've showed before like we have uh, some machine that we use just for clean clothes you know going in short clothes and we have some machines that are pretty much just for working clothes as well so I'm gonna head back to my room and I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. So like I said, all my bags are packed. Everything is spotless in the room. So tomorrow I just wait for my relief to show up, do the turnover with him and let him get signed on. And then I'll be out here tomorrow and time to go back on vacation. I'm gonna be heading back to Brazil soon. Gotta do some physical exams for the job after that as well. And then I can head back to Brazil for some much needed relaxation. All right guys, I'm back in the room. I'm gonna brush up and get dressed for bed and hit the sack. And when we wake up, to be the last day tomorrow and we'll close out the vlog tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys then. All right guys, we've reached my final port, my home port here, where I, I will be getting off today. This is a big old CMA CGM ship here. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce that. La Perouse, La Perouse, <laughs> French company. And here's the terminal where we will be going. All right guys, so I did my turnover on the ship and everything. Got all my bags here on the pier waiting for shuttle transport to the front gate. I'm all finished. So we're gonna end this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, coming along with me the last few days on the ship. Uh, if you guys like to give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next one.